Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to set the current date and the current time when a form loads in Power Apps. I'm also going to show you how to get the time updating in real time. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do here I'm just going to add a label control. And we'll just call that date and then we'll just add on to the side of it a date picker. So there you go, one date picker on the side of that. And now in Power Apps, the date automatically seems to default to today's date. So in the UK, today is actually the 9th of October 2021. But of course here it's showing 10th of September 2021. So it's the format that's showing the US, United States format for a date in that text box. So I need to change that to show UK format. So it should really be saying 9-10-2021 for a UK format. So if I click on that date picker and here where it says format, I need to change that to date month year and now you can see on the screen it's changed to 9 10 21 which is correct so now let's look at how we can set the time so I'm gonna add another label on the side of that and we're gonna call that time and bring down another label which is going to hold the time so on the start of the form when the form loads on the visible property I'm going to set a variable So let's set a variable called current time to the value of now. So now in the label control, I want to add that variable. So in the text property, let's add a current time variable. So now when we load the form, when it becomes visible, we can see that we have the date and the time in there. So the current time in London is 6.59 p.m. But in this case, I just want to show the time. So what we do is click on the label again. In the text property, we want to set text variable name and long time 24. Close the bracket. Run the form and that gives me the current time. So what if we want to have the time updating in real time? So what we need to do first is add a timer control to the form. And I want to set the duration to that, 10,000. And repeat, I want to be true. And on the on timer end property, 
I want to set a variable set set current time to now and in my label property the text value should be text variable name comma long time 24 now what I also want to do is I want to set the timers auto start property to true so it starts immediately when the form loads and we can also set the on start property set current time now so now let's run the form and the timer starts here and the time will update after a while in real time so it's currently showing 1919 the seconds have changed and there it is it's now showing 1920 so that's the current time in London 720 in the evening you don't have to have the timer visible you could also click on it and set its visibility property to off and it will still work in the same way it's just that you don't get to see the timer on the screen so that's how we can add the current date into the date picker format it for whatever country you're in and also add a time component and have it updating in real time thanks for watching if you like this video please click the button to like it or why not subscribe to my channel or you can even download my free Power Apps for Newbies book at www.powerappsfornewbies.com.